Network security engineer, Clay Haynes, uh, giving Trump's private direct messages to the DOJ. Let's hear clip one. The decision, though, was uh, most of the stuff he tweets is completely newsworthy. Okay. And so because it's newsworthy, even though he's making a complete ass out of himself for the country, we have to let those tweets up and let him do what, essentially, he has a carte blanche to do whatever he wants. Okay. The other thing, too, is that we're more than helping, we're more than happy to help uh, the Department of Justice in their little investigation. Okay. <laughs> so, like, how? Basically, giving him every single tweet that he's posted. Okay. Even the ones he's deleted. Okay. Any direct messages, Good. any mentions. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, let me, let me translate this for you. Here is Clay Haynes, according to Project Veritas, a senior network security engineer at Twitter, boasting that he is sharing the president's private direct messages with the Justice Department. Do you have any idea what this means? You know, years ago, there was a movie called The Conversation that Francis Ford Coppola did. Coppola is a, a, a liberal, a dyed-in-the-wool liberal. Do you remember the days of the 60s and 70s when liberals were outraged by government spying? Where are they today? Where is Francis Ford Coppola, the wine merchant, today? Where are all the big mouths like Robert De Niro today when we see that you have companies spying on not only American citizens, but the president himself? Do you have any idea how big this is? You will in a few minutes. When we make news today on the Savage Nation, James O'Keefe joins us on the Savage Nation. James, welcome to the program. Are you there? Hey, Dr. Savage. Good to be with you. James, I just played Clay Haynes undercover. Can you tell the audience what it is we were hearing Yes, uh, this is the senior network security engineer at Twitter. This is an undercover investigation. We met with Clay Haynes, who is he's not a low-level guy. He's a high-level engineer inside of Twitter describing the level of access he has to all your direct messages on the platform. Direct messages are private sort of text messages that people send to each other on Twitter. And he's describing how he, he plans to and he is willing to give these private messages to the Department of Justice and to sort of take down Trump and how, his, how his, he loathes Trump. And Dr. Savage, this is one of many videos uh, where we're launching inside of Twitter over the coming days and the coming weeks. And it's, it's a bombshell. It, it, it's going to change, as you said yesterday or change, this week, it's going to change the way people see the world. This is, this is the new town square. And they're censoring your ability to have private thoughts and are trying to change the way we think. And that we've suspected it's the case, but now we can prove it with words coming out of their own mouths. But James, I mentioned to you before the show that back in the 60s and 70s, the left wing in this country, including Francis Ford Coppola with his movie, uh, The Conversation, which I think starred Gene Hackman, they were appalled at the idea of government agents spying on American citizens. Why are so-called liberal progressives today so enraptured with spying on American citizens today, in your opinion? Well, I, I, I won't, I, I, I'd be a hypocrite if I only relied upon my opinion. I, I'm going to use their words, not mine. In one of these tapes, uh, one of their engineers says, quote, it's going to ban a way of talking, unquote. That's their words, not mine. They want to fundamentally alter, censor ideas, prevent certain things from coming into the public, and they want to literally stop people from the ability to communicate. That's their words, not mine. These tapes are going to change the game. And there have already, there's already been a, a statement from Twitter, Dr. Savage. I don't know if you saw this, but they... Oh, no, no. This is important. Have we had a, pre a statement from President Trump yet when he found out his direct messages were being eavesdropped upon by these people at Twitter? Has he said anything yet? He has, and he's going to go on in, uh, at 3.20 Eastern Time. He's going to go on television. He may comment on it, but Twitter has commented on it. They said, quote, the individual depicted in this video is speaking in a personal capacity and does not represent or speak for Twitter. <laughs> Isn't he a senior engineer, though? He's a senior, and he's a senior network security engineer, and my sources in Silicon Valley tell me that is not an IT guy. He knows... 
he has access to all the DMs and in, and in subsequent videos, by the way, because this is not one, just one employee. In subsequent videos, they talk about, and this, I'm breaking this on your show, this is the first appearance I've made. In subsequent videos, they talk about private personal messages you send to your wife and what they do with it. And, 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 and they laugh about it and they talk about how they sell it. I mean, this is... <laughs> Let's be very graphic as we can, as graphic as we can, James. I want the average listener, if they can't follow what you're saying because it's too esoteric, it's sad to, but true, they probably can't. Why don't you tell them what one of your undercover uh, people did when she asked about people who expose their body parts, uh, what they're doing with them at Twitter? This guy, Clay, and you'll see this in the, in the subsequent releases, this one just focuses on the DOJ and sharing your pictures of all your private parts and, and, and penis photographs, and he has them on a database, is what he said. And what, and what, what did he say he does with it? Didn't, didn't you tell me he said, and I think you said he told you, that he then sends them to anyone he hates politically or dislikes politically. He sends them to his to the wife to destroy marriages, and or to the divorce lawyers on the other side. Did I hear that correctly? You are quoting a video that will be coming out in the coming days. There's multiple people. This particular guy, his name is Clay. He simply says he stores them on a database, and he says it's creepy and it's big brothery, and he says it's, quote, scary. Other engineers talk about using these photographs to ruin marriages and send them in. One guy even, we were learning here, we just got some tape in last week. For your readers, because you, you wanted to make it very clear and plain spoken, a lot of discussion about naked photographs that people privately send to each other. And people may not know this, but every single thing that you text message, even if you delete it, on Twitter, they store it, they sell it, and they brag about it. So, is it illegal? Is it illegal what they're doing? When we come back, we're going to discuss and play, and play and discuss one of the biggest stories of our time, which is one of the major social media platforms doing things that would have turned the eyes and rolled the minds of true liberals. Not too long ago, but today liberals look on and applaud. The answer is because there are no liberals today. There are only psychotic fascists posing as liberals. And I'm quoting myself. I'll be right back. What we do on our side is actually very terrifying. We have full access to every single person's account, every single death direct message, deleted direct messages, deleted tweets. I can tell you exactly who logged in from where, what user using a password, when they change their password. I don't know if you heard that in the Savage Nation, but that is a secret tape obtained by Project Veritas with a senior Twitter engineer named Clay Haynes saying they have all your Twitter activity saved. And we are now rejoined by the head of uh, the organization who did this, James O'Keefe. James, welcome back to the show. James, are you there? Yes, I'm here. James, okay. James you know, I want to go backwards in time. I don't think the average American even knows what I'm talking about. Uh, what these people are doing seems to me like not only uh, it has no moral compass, that, that goes without saying, why is there no outcry from the so-called liberal establishment? This is an outrage for all of us, irrespective of our politics. They are spying and sharing our most secret communications. How are they getting away with this, James? Under what guise? There may yet be an outrage. This is the first of maybe half a dozen tapes with dozen employees, high-ranking officials at Twitter. So we're just getting started is my first statement. My second statement is that in one of the subsequent tapes, they say we're going to ban a way of talking. We're going to literally, they, they, they're bragging about censoring and shadow banning. They call it shadow banning, right, where they mute you from other people's timelines so that they can't see what you think you're being broadcasted, but you're really not. And they Wait a minute, if, if someone sends something, they can actually delete it without, uh, block it without us knowing? Yes, this is in t t tomorrow's video. You're hearing this for the first time uh, on your show. 
we actually have tape of them talking about how this shadow banning works where a user... But James, I, I've, got to, I've got to interject a thousand times because I've got to keep you for the top of the hour. James, you know, there was a newspaper reporter back when called Jack Anderson. He was loved by liberals in this country. Mm -hmm. He won a Pulitzer Prize for national reporting because he was a left-wing fanatic. He undermined Richard Nixon. He undermined the CIA. He undermined the United States government when it was run by Republicans. Right. And he was revered by all of the good liberals of America. He revealed the history of a CIA plot to assassinate the evil bastard Fidel Castro. He was credited for breaking the story of the Iran-Contra affair under President Reagan, almost destroying Reagan's career. As a result, all of the left-wing fanatics loved Jack Anderson and called him a great reporter, an investigative reporter. You're actually doing better work than he did, and you're not being revered by anyone except people who want the truth and they want their freedom back, James. Is this not the most telling story of our time? I think it is. When I return, when I, look, I, I got so much that, that's boiling up. I want these people arrested if they broke the law. I want some of them on H-1B3 visas deported by Donald Trump. And don't think I'm not going to ask him to do it. Wait until you hear what's coming. And now you'll know why Silicon Valley bigs hire little fish from the third world who have no morals and no sense of democracy. Join the... Now, many listeners to this radio show do not use Twitter or Facebook. They listen to radio. They read a newspaper and things like that. They may, may not even understand what I'm talking about, nor how far-reaching this is in terms of violations of our privacy laws, violations of our sense of freedom and, and, and such. But we have a big story, and I'm going to run with it, irrespective of whether the audience is ready for it, because I think that the audience needs to be educated as to what's going on. When you hear an engineer boasting that he is uh, breaking into the president of the United States' private messages, and why he's doing it, you're not going to believe what, why he's doing it and how he does it. And I hope the president gets this message. I will send him a copy of that tape at the end of the show. Uh, and I pray to God he understands as quick as he can what has to be done. With us is the man behind it all, James O'Keefe, one of our great investigative reporters. James, you're back with us? Back. James, okay, first of all, let, let me help you by raising some money for your organization. I know my listeners, I was told, have done great things for you in the past, and I don't need it to come through me. I'm not looking to take anything off the top. What is your email address where people can make a donation to your investigative reporting uh, unit? Projectveritas.com. That's Project V E R I T A S dot com. By the way, I may be banned from all social media accounts when I release the dozen or so employees I have on tape talking about sharing your private messages with the government and other advertisers. So you have to go to projectveritas.com and, and download this video and watch it because this is an unbelievable invasion of privacy, what they're doing, and it's just part but of it. But is it illegal, James? Is what they are doing illegal? Many, much of it is not illegal, and this is what your listeners may not know is that when you, when you sign up for these programs and there's 11-point font, the terms and user conditions that goes on for, you know, 10 pages, buried in there is some legal language that allows them to do some of these things. But it's still immoral. It's still unethical. It's, it's taking away the megaphone from the people. You'd go into the town square ordinarily. Now you put all your stuff on, on, online, on, on the software that you download, and you don't even know it. And but okay, so let's listen to uh, one of your under. How many people did you have doing this in Twitter? How many people did you get in there? How many of my undercover people went? Y in there? Yes. How many undercover agents did you use to get these people on tape? Uh, we had we have a couple dozen people at Project Veritas worked this story for an entire year. And a year, a year. That's what's involved in doing real investigative reporting, as opposed to NBC, CBS, ABC, yes. and the pancake. <laughs> And the pancake made up idiots running around America calling themselves reporters with these million dollar sound trucks here in San Francisco and New York doing absolutely nothing like this. So you're basically a one man shop with a few great people working for you. So they go into uh, Twitter. They get how did they get these people to open up like this, James? Well, we 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 spend months 
building relationships with sources. We use aliases like Mike Wallace used to do and Upton Sinclair used to do and all the even Woodward and Bernstein used deception when they spoke to Deep Throat. We use all the techniques that undercover journalists have used. Oh, Woodward and Bernstein, the establishmentarians, the great wild Woodward and Bernstein. You know, and I and, and Dr. Savage, I, I don't know if it's possible, but Tuesday we're releasing so many more tapes of all these employees. I want to come on your show next week and talk about. Oh yeah, you're welcome anytime. But I want to play something now and have you comment. Here is sure. a man that you say is a senior security network engineer at Twitter boasting about what he does with Donald Trump's private messages. Listen to O one. The decision, though, was that most of the stuff he tweets is completely newsworthy. Okay. And so because it's newsworthy, even though he's making a complete ass out of himself in the country, we have to let those tweets up and let him do what, essentially, he has a carte blanche to do whatever he wants. Okay. The other thing, too, is that we're more than helping, we're more than happy to help uh, the Department of Justice in their little investigation. Okay. <laughs> So, like how? Basically, giving him every single tweet that he's posted. Okay. Even the ones he's deleted. Okay. Any direct messages, Good. any mentions. Oh, yeah. Now, does the president, James, does he actually do direct messages? Yes. Donald Trump Jr. has done them, and those were leaked uh, by somebody. Uh, as to the president, we believe that he does. Everyone does mm. messages. It's a way of... Well, so, in other words, they're, they're saying they're getting Donald Trump Jr. We don't know if they're doing this to the president. Listen to clip three again, and listen very carefully to what the senior network security engineer at Twitter reveals in 03. Let's hear it together. On one hand, yes, he's dangerous. I don't like him, and he's a terrible human being, and I want to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. In fact, we had uh, internal reviews about that, and we basically... I wasn't the only one that basically said that if we let this maniac, if someone loads it, if we let this maniac continue, mm -hmm. I'm going to have a hard time finding another job. Uh, yeah, because, you know, I don't like being part of the, the machine that is contributing to the exactly. Amer America's downfall. Did you hear what he just said? If we let this maniac continue, he'll have a tough time getting a job. Well, maybe he could find employment making license plates in Alcatraz. After this, I'm sure he can get a job making license plates, couldn't he, James? Well, Dr. Savage, he might lose his job. Twitter responded with a statement uh, today saying the individual does not speak for Twitter. So they're going to throw the senior policy network engineer who's responsible for talk for sharing the, uh, direct messages with Department of Justice under the bus when he speaks for the company. Um, but this is just part one. See, they say it's an isolated incident, and then we reserve the other footage. If the media had any credibility, they would be giving air to this because they're supposed to be on the team of truth and justice. But, it, mm. but there wouldn't be a need for people like me if they, were, if they were just doing their jobs. And these are the most powerful people in the world, and they're going to sue me, and they're going to probably issue a gag order on me. And that is why I need your audience desperately to go to ProjectVeritas.com and watch and share this video because they're going to ban me from social media for doing this. For telling the truth. Well, you know, I, I, I put your undercover video on michaelsavage.com, uh, which I control. I'm not going to ban you, but I put it on Twitter. I linked it there. And so far, they haven't taken it down, James. Are you aware of that? I've got 12 employees on tape, and this is part one. This is one. No, no, but I'm saying they have not yet taken down your video from my Twitter feed. Are you aware that they're not doing it yet? I'm, a, I'm, full, I'm aware of that, and every single time, Dr. Savage, I have done an, an undercover investigation, I have been sued. Every single time. It doesn't happen on day one. It doesn't happen on day two. It may happen a week later. And there are so many tapes coming out where they're talking about sharing your private parts. And well, what, what could they sue you for, James, for having what, recorded them illegally? They can indict a ham sandwich. They can falsely accuse me. They can say, they can say tortious interference. They can say trespass. They can say uh, uh, damages. They can just you can sue anyone for any reason, and that's I litigation is central to what I do. Yes, last time I was on your show, you could help us raise a couple hundred thousand dollars to pay for all the litigation. When you told everyone to go make a donation, I'm, I don't have advertisers. I'm, I'm a nonprofit foundation. I've got fifty people on my team. And all right, we're talking with James O'Keefe, a true investigative reporter, along the lines of the great investigative reporters of years gone by. Uh, the fakers you hear of, the Bernsteins and the Woodwards, who do nothing anymore but have uh, wine and drinks with others. They do nothing along the lines of investigative reporting. 
You have fake actors making believe they're wild and crazy reporters. They're all stooges of the government entertainment complex. James is one of the real investigative reporters, and we should all salute him, liberal and conservative alike, by the way, because it's all of our privacy that is at stake here. Uh, now I want to ask some questions through my audience. Yeah. I want to take a call. Uh, let's put up caller five, please, from WTMA in South Carolina. A question for James O'Keefe. Go ahead, please. James, thank you very much. Dr. Savage, thank you. My question is, how does this parallel WikiLeaks. Here we have somebody who disclosed some very underhanded, dirty deals, and now they can't even come back in the country. Um, I congratulate you on what you've done, but these guys like have gone further. They've not only attacked government officials, they after private people. What well, I guess what he's asking is, are you worried about being arrested? In a way, yes, but not real. I, is this going to be... Gonna be okay, he's um, breaking up, unfortunately. Uh, let me ask, James, the caller Mike wanted to know, are you worried about ramifications other than lawsuits? I, I have been arrested. I have been... T are you talking about me personally, Dr. Savage? Yeah, yeah, you personally, right. I have been arrested. I have been incarcerated. I have, been, I have a dozen pieces of civil litigation. Bob Creamer, the guy that we took down in the 2016 election that Trump mentioned in the debates sued me for one million dollars he's organizing everyone that i secretly record i am we are going all in on on these tapes we're going after the most powerful people probably in the world facebook google and twitter these are publicly traded companies they have access to all of your information i, I think most people who listen to your broadcast at least use a google product a facebook product or twitter product most people do and they're sharing your private messages and you don't even know it, including your private parts or if people are, you know, silly enough to tweet that stuff to your wife or something, or your, a photo of yourself without a t-shirt on, and they're giving that away to people and they're, and they're laughing about it, they're going to come after me. It may not be today. It's going to be in the next week. How do I deal with it? I push forward. I don't apologize for what we do, and we've got a great team, and we're going to keep doing it. We're speaking truth to power, much like they used to do. Let's listen to um, another secretly recorded message given to us by, I, shall I say secretly recorded? Isn't that a violation of law in California? Don't no, we get, we do it in wait, wait, let me. I understand California law. You can't record someone if you don't disclose in advance you're doing so. Isn't that true? Uh, that's not true. As long as, you're, as long as you're in an area where there's no expectation of privacy, you can record them without their knowledge, as long as other people can overhear the conversation, is, the, mm. is, is how the law works in California. Mm. Well, I think your undercover agent is quite good. She laughs at the right time to encourage the engineer to keep going in what he is saying. Yes. She, laughs as though, she laughs as though she's on his side, right? Yes, we built the trust of these guys. We we use a variety of aliases to get their trust. Yes, that that's correct. And <laughs> and I noticed that she has she has a, she has she uses her hands and her rings and her nail polish a little to a to, to, you know I'm saying this is interesting stuff. It would make for a good movie. So what you're doing and what your undercover reporters are doing, James, are very much like what the fakers in Hollywood pretend to be doing, uh, pretending to be daring investigative reporters. But they don't do any of that stuff, do they? Why are they not on your side, James? Obviously, the answer to me is, is because your targets are the, not the targets they'd like them to be. They'd like you to be going after uh, Michael Savage, Donald Trump. Anyone who is a conservative patriot is who they would like you to be undermining, uh, not people on their side. So this is a political game of undercover video. There's another video I want to play right now on the show quickly before the time is, uh, is up. We played one, two, three, and four. Uh, let us listen to the engineer in clip two and hear what he has to say, and then we'll take a break. You should look at junior and senior, senior and see what, what's in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> have you seen? There, there's, a, there's a reason why we have subpoena process for that very reason. Oh, wow. Okay. But yeah, we can absolutely look at every single message, every single tweet, whatever you log into, what mm -hmm. profile pictures you upload, what profile pictures that you thought you're going to do. Um, Are you working with DOJ currently on that? Uh, I can't comment, and if I knew, I wouldn't comment. But. He said, are you working with the DOJ currently on that? He said, I can't comment. If I knew, I couldn't comment. Are they working with the DOJ, James? That's what he appears to say to the young woman. He says, we are more than helping 
We are happy to help the Justice Department with their little investigation. We, we, we're... All right, hold it. We, uh, James O'Keefe, Project Veritas. I'm taking a quick commercial break in order to make sure this program keeps going. And when I return, we'll return with the news of the day, and it's a big one. It's the biggest story, not of the day, of a long period of time. Join the listening to Michael Savage and the Savage Nation on Talk Radio 560 KSFO. Welcome back to the Savage Nation. In the midst of all of this, let me talk about your body circulation. I think, oh, what's the big deal? Because good circulation is crucial not only to your thinking, but to energy, to stamina, because it brings oxygen and nutrients flowing throughout your body. You can exercise longer, right? Well, no, not unless you take certain things to help you. And I'm telling you to take Super Beats because it promotes the body's own natural ability to produce healthier circulation for increased energy and stamina all day long. And only Super Beats is made from beets which are grown to exacting standards and then they concentrate them into superfood crystals, okay? That's how they make the drink. So if you want to improve your circulation, call 800-481-0504 or go to savagelovesbeats.com. With your first order, you're going to get another 30-day supply of Super Beats for free, plus indicator strips, which will tell you how the Super Beats are working inside your body, and of course, free shipping. Simply call 800-481-0504 for, I got to read it again because I'm reading so fast, 800-481-0504, or go to savagelovesbeats.com today. Now let's go back to the big, big story of the day, maybe of the decade, James O'Keefe of Project Veritas. Are you with us again on the Savage Nation? I hope you are. You want to conclude your visit by telling us what's coming next? Yes, thank you. So this video, this first video was about Twitter giving the private direct messages to the Department of Justice, saying that's what they're doing with Trump's private messages. The next videos are going to talk about, and this is exclusive on your show, I'm announcing this tomorrow. It's going to, be, it's going to keep getting bigger and bigger. This is going to, their, their engineers are on tape, and their policy people at Twitter are on tape, talking about censoring when you tweet or Facebook something, you have to put it on a timeline, and they call it shadow banning, so it doesn't show up on other people's computers without you knowing. And they describe how they do it. They even get into the engineering of it, the algorithms, and how they weigh them to target political conservative ideas. Well, let me say this. I, I'm looking on my own Twitter feed where I posted your tape, and someone wrote this. Victor says... Time to reign in Twitter and Google, declare them a public utility, and subject government regulation. They must protect free speech and free thought. What about, what about that? Should they be declared public utilities, in your opinion? I don't think they should. I think the free market has a solution as long as people are informed. But unless CEO Jack Dorsey of Twitter makes his HR policies and algorithms public, the government will intervene. They will intervene. But I think there's other platforms like Gab and others that people should be utilizing. People need to know what's happening to their private information. So tomorrow, we drop part two, where they say they're going to ban a way of talking. They describe the specific conservative they're censoring on the platform without you knowing, and they describe how they do it. And then we go into them sharing your private... Who, who are they banning? Which conservatives are they going after? I, 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 that's my story, so I have to really... <laughs> All right, that's tomorrow. All right, everybody go to projectveritas.com and send them some money. He lives on donations. He's a great guy, investigative reporter. None of it goes through, through me. I'm not part of the cartel that needs to skim money off the top of everything that comes near them. There's not enough money in the world for the cartel. But for me, let the good get gooder. This is the Savage Nation. When I come back, DACA and immigration right here on the Savage Nation.